Ken Ute was destined for greatness. Teen taken out for his cell phone had a big heart. Tears flew heavily yesterday as family, friends, and loved ones paid their final respects to Ken Ute Williams Jr., the St. Andrew teen who was taken out last month over his cell phone and $1,000 while he was traveling to school. Pastor Adrian Johnson, in delivering the sermon, encouraged the grieving family of the former 10th grade student at Pepin High School to continue to hold strong to their faith in God as they seek to overcome the heartbreak. But inside the walls of St. Andrew's Memorial Church, where the funeral was held, there was little evidence to, to suggest that his words were creating an impact. This extra special boy, according to his family, teachers and friends epitomize grace, peace, and wisdom throughout his life and will always be remembered as a quiet, unassuming child with the biggest heart. According to everyone who knew him, young Kenyut was special and destined for greatness, a lover of the arts. The soft-spoken teen had a knack for leaving an imprint on whoever he encountered. His mother, Caroline Robinson Williams was inconsolable. The thought of not seeing her only child again was too much to bear. Throughout the long service, her head rested on the shoulder of her husband, Kenwood Sr., who was also devastated. The death of Kenwood Jr. had touched everyone. Inspector Tanisha Johnson of St. Andrew Central Police Community Safety and Security Branch condemned the actions of the teen killers and vows that the police will do everything to bring the family justice. Her sentiments were echoed by Pepin's highest principal, Linville Christie. The senior educator also made an impassioned plea for more to be done in protecting Jamaican children who travel to and from school on their own. In her acknowledgement speech, Suzette J Jackson Ivey one of Kenny's favorite cousins, remembered and applauded the efforts of Roger Marshall, the man who came to the teen's aid when he laid helpless along Ligony Avenue after he was injured. For 30 seconds, the audience applauded Marshall for his bravery, but the Good Samaritan maintains that he felt dejected when remembering the bitter last few seconds he shared with the promising young man. Despite the Pouring rain, a large convoy of mourners braved the weather so they could witness young Canute being lowered into the earth at Medaris Memorial Park in St. Catherine. We are burying so many of our children. They're being taken out on a daily basis. Nothing is being done about it. Who knows what young Canute could have become? You know, he didn't get to live out his life. It was taken away from him violently on the streets. There's so many children that have been violently attacked and their life taken. So many innocent children Kenut was one of them. And the sad thing is, even after this video, there may, be, there may be more to come. The children need to be protected. Traveling to and from school is one of the most dangerous things that they're doing right now. And parents are not taking it seriously. Even teenagers, you have to make proper arrangements. The lower income kids or kids from lower income community and those and some of those that are in mid income community. They're the ones who are facing most of the assault right now because they're navigating the streets. We have to realize and come to grips with the fact that anything can happen once they leave the home. Anything. Because the streets are no longer safe. 
you have people traveling around on motorcycles and cars and on foot ready to pounce on those unprotected children because they're soft targets so many times you pick up the newspapers you see so many kids missing and parents are still not listening they're still not taking heed they're still saying it will not be my child you're putting the kids at risk it's 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 a very sad situation what's going on out there because these children they have so much to live for their dreams are just snuffed out snuffed out and crushed who knows what he could have become who knows who he could have helped or how many persons he could have helped or his country his community we were all robbed there's a lot of sick damage hurt people out there armed and they're just going around taking lives randomly for money for cell phone you know for your belongings sometimes not even for anything sometimes one community lose a member and they just go into another community and spray that community you could be at the shop walking with your kids totally not involved in anything that they're doing but they just decide to take some lives today let's go out and brutally take out some people today i have a lot of stuff to spare and i'm just going to use them on them crime and violence is rampant rampant in jamaica and the kids cannot travel by themselves it's high time now that the government provide school buses for the children children are being abducted i remember one little girl was abducted in her area and was sexually assaulted and just taken out and just thrown away like a, a piece of garbage she was traveling by herself to school people it's either i don't know if it's laziness or people are not listening or what is it because the parents and grandparents are sitting at home and then they tell the kid bye the child goes now to traverse these dangerous roads by themselves what if you had taken that time to walk that child to the bus stop or to meet that child at the bus stop if you're not working that's not possible arrange with a taxi driver that you know or arrange for them to go into a group try to do something because the government is sitting there and they're not providing transportation for the poor kids because the ones who are in middle income and upper income bracket their parents take them by cars to school and pick them up as well or they arrange for someone to do that so these poor kids are usually just left at the mercy of the streets most of the some of the time i wouldn't say most that the parent or grandparent is at home or a cousin or a brother but they just leave them to go on their own leave them at the bus stops any taxi with fake plates can come and pick them up abduct them there's so many things going on right now you have to arrange for that person to travel with someone because it's it's the streets are very mean right now very very mean out there and we can all see what happened to young canute for his cell phone and one thousand dollars that's how vicious things are out there but people are still not listening they're not listening they're not taking any steps to protect the children All I can say at this point is rest in peace, Kenut. And Jamaica Roots TV send out sincere condolences to the family members. Take care of yourself and others.